Uh, you've played, I mean, amazing career so far, Stephen. You've worked with Martin Scorsese, is it three times now? Is it? Yeah. Three yeah, times with the great Martin Thanks. Scorsese. Thank you. Um, <laughs> now, we know you're doing something right when that happens. <coughs> uh, you've got a new movie coming out. This is you. Is, is Robert De Niro in this film with you, as well as being uh, one of the producers? Yeah, yeah, Robert De Niro. This is The Irishman, yeah? Yes, and Al Pacino. Working with Pacino, I mean, that, for an actor, I guess, he's about as good as it gets as well, isn't he? Of course, he? yeah, yeah. Um, and it was a little... I'd kind of had an idea in our, in our house when I was reading through, and so I started messing about. We shot it three times, and then on the third take, he's eating ice cream really slowly, and he's got this big scene, and he owes me two million quid. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I've known him for a while, and he's, he's not giving me my money. And we're oh, we should people. explain, this is in the film, not in real life. Yeah, not in real life. <laughs> not in real life, The no. characters, yeah. The characters, yeah. yeah. He, he's, he's Jimmy Hoffer, and he owes me two million, two million dollars. So he's eating his ice cream and all that and everything. And on the third go, I thought, right, I'm going to do it now. And I'd already planned this, but I'd told the cameraman and I told the props fella, and he's eating it, and he just puts his ice cream down, he's looking at me, and I just went, and I threw the bowl right across the room, and he went, oh! And then we carried on a little bit, and then Marty went, cut, and he went, did you see that, Martin? The kid frightened me. <laughs> <laughs> and then from then on, he called me the kid. Oh, and, amazing. And it was just wow. a really nice situation, do you know what I mean? So the kid is one of your nicknames. Uh, yeah. Dutchy, you're called Dutchy. How did you know that? Well, I've asked a few got some spies there, yeah, haven't you? <laughs> when you were arrested for Porsche theft, oh. one of their <laughs> phoned me. And he's... And the Ferrari had <laughs> robbed as well, yeah. I can't even say for Ari, so, I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> get out of here. That's why I said it. But let me ask you about Leonardo DiCaprio, because you were great on screen with him in Gangs of New oh, York. Thank you very much. And, but you almost killed him, didn't you? I didn't almost kill him. No, at first, you know, I was kind of testing him out and he was testing me out and stuff, and then we became good mates. But we had a little... He used to drive around in a golf cart, but two days before we're due to start work, he's driving around in this golf cart, and I've asked him if I can have a go. That, now that does make me sound like a Rob Porsche, doesn't it? Because yeah. <laughs> I'll have a go anyway when you're mad. What accent was that? that you take the piss that, out of mine? <laughs> That was Kirby. That was Kirby. That was an attempt at Kirby. <laughs> Nearly there. Yeah. So I've drove... I've drove... Now, I've, now you've made me very self-conscious. Yeah. I drove I'm this sorry, car. I'm sorry. That's OK. I've drove this, um, <laughs> this golf cart. <laughs> so I'm driving this golf cart straight down the hill. <laughs> and we've come to a corner. And I've looked at DiCaprio. And I've said to him... <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. We don't all we don't all have to talk yeah, and tell stories that's like amazing. that. So I've gone to Leo, gives a go with your golf cart, and I've bombed down this hill, and then I've turned the corner, and as I've turned the corner, I've hit a brick that was on, <laughs> and I've hit this brick, and the golf cart started to tip, but it's gone like in slow motion, yeah. and as it's gone, his legs underneath, Ooh. and it looks like it's going to land on his foot, oh. and then he's just pulled it in, it's hit the floor, and then we've got up and all that, and then he's gone, oh my god. He's, he said, we, he said, we nearly... You could have broke my leg. And I was going, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. He said, this is a $150 million film. We might not have been able to film it. And I was going, I'm so sorry. And he said, I <laughs> love you, man. <laughs> You're crazy. And then he gave me the nickname Animal from that moment on. <laughs> Animal? Animal, yeah. Dutchy? Yeah. The Kid? The Kid, yeah. You're collecting them? I am, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. yeah I am. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the new project, because um, there's a new show which Stephen stars in. Uh, it's starting on Wednesday, 15th of May, on Channel 4. Uh, and it's you working once again with the fabulous Shane Meadows. Yeah. Who's an amazing... He was the brains behind This Is England and films like A Room for Romeo Brass. Uh, I've seen the first two episodes of this. It's four-parter. Amazing stuff. And there's a sequence early on in which your character, who has had problems with alcohol in the past, yeah. something happens in his life and he falls off the wagon. Uh, and it must be... I would have thought to actually be in that place as a character. That must be pretty tough. Yeah, it was. Um, we, you know, the, you have a, a duty of care, I suppose, in many respects when you're taking something on like that. And it's a man who'd been sober for two years. Um, and his child and his, his ex-wife are, are moving away to Australia. And he pretends that he can cope with it and he pretends he's going to be OK. And he just presses the panic button and he picks that first drink up. Stephen, thank you much for, be, for being here. Stephen, thank you. Stephen,